Mac computers allow you to have more than one user. Having more than one user allows two different people to share the same computer, each with their own personal settings and documents. There are two kinds of users, admin and standard. For Gertrude to safely protect your child, the user needs to be of the standard type because admin users can disable and uninstall Gertrude. Here's how to create a new standard user for your child. Find the Apple icon in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. Click on it and choose System Settings. Then you can scroll down and look for Users and Groups or search for it. Once you're here, you should see a list of current users. For many people, that's just a single admin user. Every Mac computer comes with a single admin user when you first set it up. Mine is called Jared, and you can see right here that it's of the type admin. So what we're going to do is add a new user for our fictitious child, Franny. To do that, we just click on Add User. You probably have to authenticate by typing your password at this point. And the important part right here is the new user type in this dropdown. Make sure that you have standard selected. It's usually selected by default, but it's worth double checking. Then give it a name. I'll use Franny. Then enter a password and verify it. Then click Create User. You should see the new user appear and verify that it is indeed of the standard type. And that's basically it. But I'll also show you what it looks like to log into this user for the very first time in case that's helpful. To do so, we'll just go over to the Apple menu again, and then we'll choose Lock Screen. From here in the bottom of the page, we should be able to see a second user your screen might look a little different than this, but either way, you'll see the new user and you can click to select it. It'll require that password that we just created. And once we log in for the very first time, you'll notice it takes a few moments because the operating system is sort of doing some initial housekeeping work to set up the new user and doing a bunch of pre-configuration. So just sit tight for a moment. Soon you'll be presented with a whole bunch of onboarding screens like this accessibility screen. You can just take a few minutes and work your way through these screens, picking what makes sense. And don't worry, if there's anything here you don't understand, you can just choose skip or set up later. Every option you see in this initial onboarding flow is also available from the system settings area later. So I'm gonna click not now, continue, set up later, skip. From here on out, you want to have your child always log in to this safe standard user. And also, make sure that they don't know the password to the other admin account. So if it's a commonly used password or one they already know or something easy to guess, take a minute and change that. Because if they know the admin password, they can use it to disable Gertrude and uninstall the app. But as long as they're on their own user and the user is standard, and they don't know how to log into the admin user or what the password is, they'll be totally safe with Gertrude. For more information about keeping your kids safe on the internet with the Gertrude app, go to www.gertrude.app.